gentlefolks interested in Scandinavian folk music. In this video we will learn a very nice little tune, the one you just heard. This tune was named under the very non-descriptive name of Vals från Enviken, so Waltz from Enviken in Dalarna, Sweden, until in 2005 when Jonny Soling and Kalle Almlöf released an album called Öst och Väst, and on that album the tune was called Idioten, the idiot. Idiot, as yours truly, one of the many representatives of the noble profession of village idiot. Oh, excuse me, here's a passerby. And since the album, the name Idioten has stuck to the tune. This tune is quite easy. It goes in D minor with a few chromatisms. On Nikoharpa you will have a little bit of climbing, but it's not super tricky. And on fiddle it's really not a hard tune. There is nothing weird about the rhythm, it's a valse with no very fast part. Of course you can take it a little bit to the next level if you add ornaments and double stops, but the basis of it is quite easy. It has three parts. <coughs> So let's learn each of these parts separately and slowly. Part A. some ornaments. Greetings, fine idiot. So a few ornaments. This one. not much to say. You can do a little modification of the rhythm. Here, instead of you can go if you want, but it's just a little uh, ornamentation of the rhythm if you want. And B part. The B part is well, you will see, not very complicated either. We start on a high A. add some ornaments you can basically emphasize the different chords because we have possibilities but I think really if you want to put double stops here you're gonna have them on this second note of the landing of the chord so there so, and then maybe an F or or an E depends a bit 
it's how much tension you want to have. More tension with the F, less with the E. So personally, I usually play the first time through with the E and then the second time with the F. So maybe a jeet even on the first one. Also the E leads very well into the the D that comes just after. So it's a good idea. But as said, the second time maybe an F. So you have different possibilities and it's very nice to play a bit with your different double stops to um, see how they feel, which one feels more tensed, releasing, leading to the next one, these kind of things. And here again, about the rhythm, you can, if you want, as a variation, dot the rhythm a little bit. So instead of very straight... You can go... Something like this. See part, then! This part is possibly the trickiest because it has because it has a bit more harmonic things happening so it has a few lines that kind of lead you from chord to chord in the harmonic progression let's go start on an A open string slowly because it's two times almost the same but not exactly so the trick to separate to differentiate those two bits of the C part is that the first one, when we go from the D, it goes to a C. So D, F, A, C. And the second one is a full D minor chord. So D, F, A, D. So the first one goes to C, the second one goes to D. The second one... And before someone asks me in the comments, is it important to use the fourth finger or the open string? Is there a rule about that? No. In this little last um, pattern, this little last phrase, or it is up to you if you want to use the fourth finger or the open string. Very often in folk music we will use open strings and avoid the fourth finger if we don't really have to use it. But it can also happen that some fiddlers are very proud of how much they can use the fourth finger and they will use it extra just to show that. Or, for my part, I tend to use the fourth finger mostly because I find the open E string alone in this little phrase to be a bit aggressive and it can whistle. It's not there that I want the accent, so I'd rather use the fourth finger. But it's up to you and if you are not very good with the fourth finger yet, you can absolutely use the open string. Let's just wrap up this C part again, and I will say C or D when you have this line going up with the different chords. C. D. There. 
So, gentle folks, I hope that this tune brought you joy and that you will have a lot of fun learning it at home. Sadly, nowadays, it doesn't pay very well to be a village idiot anymore. Therefore, I kindly recommend you to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you... <laughs> if you haven't already, and consider supporting me on Patreon. The link to this platform is in the description down below. It is also on Patreon that I give sheet music with bowings and details of every tune I teach here on the channel, as well as background information behind the scenes and other interesting nerdy little things about a musician's life. If you also want to be a village idiot, welcome to the profession, but don't be a fool and go check the Patreon page at once. For my part, I will now have to leave you and go touch up my clothing and makeup. Good day to you. Remember when you fall, keep your legs straight so that they go up when you fall. Okay, thank you for the training in idiocy. It's very hard to fall! Yes. Oh no. <laughs> this time you have to get up by yourself. <laughs>